This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues today. are still. The term Ubuntu. A the Alien and Sedition Accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. Good evening, everyone. Um, hello and welcome to the first annual Arabic Majors Distinguished Lecture. Ahlan masahlan wa marhaban bikum fi rahabi jamiyati duk. Ismi Andy Frekovic wa ana mutakhassisa fi al-lugha al-arabiya huna fi jamiyati duk. Wa tusurna an nurahib bi al-professor Ernst wa bi saadat safir al-Kuwait fi al-wulaati al-mutahida al-amerikiya salam al-sabah fi ula muhadara li tulab al-tukhassis fi al-arabiya. Well, hello and welcome again. My name is Andy Frickovich, and I'm a senior majoring in Arabic here at Duke. And before I begin, I'd like to take a quick moment to recognize all of our Arabic majors who are seniors who are here with us tonight. So if you're a senior majoring in Arabic, um, please stand up. So we'd like to recognize <laughs> um, Abram Smith, Hannah Chardoff, Abigail Richards, Eric Ananji, Zuri Malanzi, and Dania Toth. So tonight we'll be hearing Professor Carl Ernst give a 30 to 40 minute talk about the global significance of Arabic language and literature, followed by about half an hour of commentary from His Excellency Ambassador Salam Sabah. Professor Carl Ernst is a specialist in Islamic studies um, with a focus on West and South Asia. He receives his Bachelor of Arts in Comparative Religion from Stanford University and his PhD in Comparative Religion from Harvard University. He has done extended research tours in India, Pakistan, and Turkey, and regularly visits the Gulf, Turkey, Iran, and Southeast Asia for lectures and conferences. His Excellency Ambassador Salam Sabah um, became the ambassador of Kuwait to the United States in 2001. He has also been the ambassador of Kuwait to Korea, minister plenipotentiary, and first secretary to the permanent mission of the state of Kuwait to the United Nations in New York. From 1986 to 1991, um, he also served as a diplomatic attache for the officer of the minister of the state of foreign affairs in Kuwait. So before I turn the podium over to Professor Ernst, um, I'd like to invite everyone in the audience to remember that um, tonight's topic carries a great personal significance for many of the audience members as well, um, particularly for those who are majoring in Arabic. And I remember when I first came to Duke University four years ago from Southern California, I knew absolutely nothing about Arabic and next to nothing about Islam. But after one Arabic class with Professor Lowe, I was absolutely hooked. And looking back on it four years later, I have to say Arabic has truly become my academic passion. Um, not only has it opened up doors to new experiences, opportunities, and friendships, but it has also enriched my cultural understanding and helped me to promote cross-cultural understanding here on Zook's campus. Um, studying Arabic has allowed me to spend a summer um, living with a host family in Morocco. It allowed me to participate in Duke Engage in Cairo in 2010 with Professor Lowe. And it also allowed me to spend a semester abroad with um, Middlebury's Arabic Immersion Program at the University of Alexandria. And through all these experiences, I developed friendships that have added a new depth to my understanding of both international and human relations. Um, for example, corresponding with my Egyptian roommate and hallmates as the Arab Spring unfolded in Egypt um, allowed me to understand the conflict, especially its human dimensions, on an entirely new level. And I think I speak for all of the graduating seniors when I say that Arabic has shaped not only our academic experience, but also our way of looking at the world. So on that note, I'd like to turn the floor over to Professor Ernst, who will begin his discussion on the importance of Arabic language study. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.